All right, so here's the update for to this week's uh, update. And as we discussed, I worked on the UI, basically the main menu. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, we have a fading screen. We can use it to fade in and fade out. Um, that's what I'm going to be using for transitioning between scenes so that it doesn't look like a weird uh, cut. Uh, first of all, we have the the main menu scene, the, the actual 3D scene, and it's based on the, the sketch that you sent me on, on Skype. So we have pretty much all the elements that you wanted, the building, the city in the background, the, the zombies, the, what, what, are the, what are the names of these guys? Um, they're not, um, the, the soldiers, and obviously the, the civilians, and every time you, you boot the game, they will be uh, randomly created, so you never see the same guys um, every time. Uh, another thing that you wanted is was to have this 3D objects as the buttons, the the billboards. So it was a bit tough to to place them properly, but I I think they they look they look good in this this positions. But we can make uh, we can change them. Um, to your liking. Also, I left all this area here, the top right corner, for when we have the 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 game logo, because um, that's that's where you placed it on the drawing. And also, uh, we need a an options button. So I didn't know where to put it. Um, so I used the the zeppelin here on the background. It's a bit hard to see, but I think it's a good placement. And yeah, it's these are the buttons right now. I'm not completely convinced that we should use 3D buttons, and, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Um, but yeah, so let's go over the the, the UI um, screens for for each one of these options. So I'm gonna start with options. That's the simplest one. Options. Um, Actually, I, I'm, I'm going to start with the, the play. Okay, so play play screen is where, where players will you know uh, the 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 step before actually playing the game. And since you wanted to have multiple levels, I have this kind of um, level select screen, which we have we can place as many levels as we want. Right now, I just put a uh, like six or seven. It doesn't matter. So obviously, as you can see. If you haven't beat the previous level, you can you cannot play the next level, so that's why it shows like level locked. And the ones that's available, you can actually play it, and probably a pop up will show you before what you have to do. Or maybe if you want, we can put a little text here on the on this space. So I was thinking this space could be used to place an image or a render. Um, related to to that level for instance the, the blizzard level could have a render of that level with the characters being abduct, abducted with you know the blizzard or um or in, in, in the other one that you do you want to be more of a um kill all the zombies we can put a different level so something similar to to what we did in ninja kitty also since once you beat these levels you probably want something to keep players invested in. Uh, I was thinking we, we could have this extra missions or extra modes, which if you click it, a, a different set of, of levels will appear. Not really levels, but game modes, something like endless mode or time attack mode or, or free mode, something like that, just to keep players, you know, playing it and, and, you know, getting currency or whatever. And speaking of currency, so we have this currency um, HUD, I guess, uh, here on the top right corner. It's always shown so that you, you always know how much points or currency you have. If you want to have, like, let's say, like most games, two different currencies, you know, the, the in-game currency that you get free and the special currency that you get by paying real money, we can add them um, somewhere here in the corner as well. I, I tested with both both currencies and one currency, but since right now we don't really have uh, designed those parts, 
uh, but it, it works. It, it looks good with both. Uh, so yeah, this is a play scene or, or level select scene. Um, I'm sorry, uh, screen. Let's go back and let's go to the options one. In options, uh, again, we don't really know what options we're going to have. So I made a bunch of elements and, and containers with just dummy objects. Like for instance, we can have a panel for controls in which you can toggle whether the on-screen controls if you want them or not, maybe toggle the opacity or something like that, inverted axis for Y and Z, uh, sorry, Y and, and, and X. And maybe if you uh, connect your you know, Bluetooth joystick or Bluetooth um, game path, you can toggle it on and off and then you wouldn't need the, the actual on-screen controls. So something like that we, we could use. Uh, also, most games use uh, some sort of audio controls, like sliders for overall volume, music, sound effects that you can you know, modify to your liking. And yeah, I, I think we should keep the design very clean and, and understandable. So that's why I, I created this containers, headers, and, and all the objects would be, you know, inside these containers. Uh, of course, we, we can add more options like delete data and, and things like that. But once we talk about it and, and we know exactly what options we can get. So this, this are pretty simple to, to place in, in a clean, clean way. So yeah, I'll, I'll say we, we should go that route instead of trying to, to put us, uh, too much stuff going on. And last but not least, we have the store. Stores uh, follows a similar fashion as the other ones. But this one's a bit more complicated because, uh, again, we don't know exactly what items or what stuff you want to be selling. So I divide it into, into sections, I guess. And the top part is to select uh, let's say what type of, of um, item you want to get. Let's say we can have consumable items or, or upgrades for your ship, or maybe if you want to buy um, or uh, if you want to sell the, the secondary special currency, you know, like most games sell that horrible um, gems and stuff like that, we could have them. So we don't have to, but if you want to, we can do it. If not, we can just keep one um, one type of, of uh, consumable, and, and that's it. That's no problem. And I, I made this cards, card-like things where we can obviously put, put image images of, of whatever you're selling, you know, the price, and then the button for, for paying. And, and then a pop-up would prompt you to accept or not. And also, obviously, since it's a store, we need to show, again, the, the currency, um, HUD, so that's why this guy is here. And also, I add this cool animation. Um, most of the, the stuff here is still placeholder, like this symbol. It's probably not going to be that um, that currency symbol. We can change it to whatever we use, either in game or or special currency or whatever. So it's pretty flexible. And I I think that's it. That's it for for this week's update. Let me know what do you think. Um, this scene, since it's a 3D scene, we can modify it pretty quickly, but I try to roughly follow the, your, your sketch. So let me know what do you think. This, if we change this, it, it does, does not really affect the, you know, the current UI. The one thing that I might suggest is not going with this 3D buttons on the, at the beginning. Instead, just having cool um, flat buttons here overlaid on, on this on this screen because I think they look a bit off like they, they're not really part of the, the UI and since we actually need these screens so maybe some some cool sci-fi buttons here with cool transparencies instead of this ones. But if not, it's it's your call. It's it's fine. Uh, it looks good, but I think if we go with the flat 
root just for this this three buttons it it will look better so let me know if, and then i can make that change and test it and see which one you like better all right so that's that's the update for this week hope you like it let me know what you think and talk to you soon